Hi guys, this is Josh from China Matters and today I've come to see how COVID-19 tests become negative or positive. So let's go take a look, follow me. Beijing is now under a lockdown and tests for COVID-19 has never been more important. Well, today at this medical institution lab is where they are testing those COVID-19 samples to see whether a person is negative or positive. But how does a nucleic acid test actually work? What is the process? First, a doctor collects samples from a patient by swabbing the nose or throat for a thick liquid called the mucus. Those swabs are then sent to a lab for a test that detects the genetic material of a pathogen. A pathogen is any small organism such as a virus or a bacterium which can cause a disease. The sample is then mixed with a reagent substance before being put into a machine that duplicates the genetic material. So, if the virus exists, these copies will amplify its presence, confirming that a patient has tested positive. And once it's positive, the signal will go up. And it's, if it's negative, the signal will be uh, flat. So, use this uh, method, we can know whether this sample has COVID-19 or not. But it's not just about the test itself. Testing the COVID-19 samples in quicker time is now the priority. Dr. Wu's company is one of the medical institutions helping the government to do just that. So at the moment, how many samples can you test within a day? Uh, around uh, uh, 30,000 a day right now. Um, but we are improving the process, make the process more efficient. Probably we can double that uh, in a few days. So how are, you, how are you guys able to double that when you talk about efficiency? If you do one by one, so it's very inefficient. It, because for the screening, so five in one is right now is uh, official uh, methods for our, um, COVID-19 screening. Uh, the sensitivity or specificity of this uh, five in one uh, will be uh, similar to one in one, but the much more cost efficiency. To improve testing efficiency and cost effectiveness, especially for a largely populated city like Beijing, these medical institutions are doing five-in-one testing. This means they are pooling five patients in a single test. They do this by using two swabs for one patient. One swab goes into an individual tube, the other one goes into a group of five tubes. They then test the group tube to see if it's positive or negative. If it is positive, they need to go back and test all of the individual tubes to see who is positive from the group. If it's negative, they move on to the next group. Because we, when we do large population screening, there's no way to screen in, uh, 20 million people in 10 days without any um, you know, 5-in-1 or 10-in-1, if you do one by one, there's no way. So, the pressure is now on. Dr. Wu says their target is to test 50,000 to 80,000 samples a day. And part of that pressure is coming from proactive testing rather than reactive testing. This means more and more people in Beijing are getting tested without any COVID-19 symptoms. So in the last 12 days, Beijing has tested more than 2 million people and that number is growing by the day. But what's crucial now is to test the people who show no symptoms at all and not just people with severe or mild symptoms to control this second outbreak in Beijing. I'm Josh, stay tuned with China Matters. Thank you.